Regardless of you trying to lend a hand to save them, if they don't have motivation to change, it won't make a difference. Epictetus believed that our reactions, not events, shape our feelings. You've always been there for others, a rare trait nowadays. However, it's essential to understand that sometimes, even with all your kind intentions, if a person isn't open to change, they simply won't, regardless of the help you offer. Before you put your energy into potentially unsolvable situations, stick around as this video will show you hints on clear indicators that could suggest you're heading down a dead end. We'll talk about nine types of people who, due to different reasons, don't want to be helped and usually need to address challenges on their own. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel before we kick off with the first type of people you should not help, ensuring you never miss important information. 1. People cloaked in self-made illusions. Some people trick themselves with their own made-up stories. This doesn't match the Stoic's advice to honestly look at ourselves and be real. It's like hiding problems. Stoics say we should face our mistakes to grow. The big problem with these people is they believe their made-up stories so much, they ignore what others see. They don't get that our minds can twist the truth, seeing things based on our feelings rather than how they actually are. Often they're not trying to be harmful, they're just trapped in their habit of fooling themselves. It could have started during a difficult childhood, and their need to belong could have shaped their perspective. These challenges might have pushed them to craft a comforting reality. Helping them is tricky since they built such a strong mental wall. You might try to convince them that Earth is round, but they'll argue back with reasoning that's plat. Even when you show them the obvious, they'll twist it to fit their view. They'll only really change if they realize their thinking is off, but this often needs expert psychological guidance. This reminds us of current political debates where people stick to their side, ignoring logic gaps. And even if they end up contradicting themselves, they think they're right. 2. Opportunists Understanding others deeply is a rare and beautiful human trait. Stoics believed in seeing the world with empathy, feeling others' emotions without judgment. However, beware of those who misuse this kindness. Some individuals see it as a weakness and pretend to be friends just to exploit you. How to recognize them? Watch their actions. Real friends ask for help when truly needed, while these individuals often ask for regular favors, even for things they could handle on their own. Some people know how to make you feel guilty at first. They might say, you're a great friend, can you do this for me? It's okay to ask for help sometimes, but these people always ask even if they can help themselves. They don't care about your time. It's sad because even if you don't want to help, you end up doing it. They make you feel bad if you say no. Even if you save them many times, they don't change. They think it's okay because someone will always help them. We suggest you choose to stay away from such people and not feel bad about it. Remember, you only need to worry about yourself and what you've promised to do. 3. People who only think of themselves. Some people are so self-centered. They always think everything is about them. For example, imagine you're talking about how bad the traffic has become in your city. This type of person might say, traffic isn't a problem just because they haven't faced any issues. And when you share something good, like news about a new job, they might overshadow your joy by talking about how unhappy they are with their own job. It feels like they take away your happiness and replace it with their own troubles. From now on, even if you were becoming the center of attention, your friend takes over the conversation. Now everything is about how they feel. It's like what you think or how you feel doesn't matter. Would you still be there for someone who only cares about themselves? If yes, do you believe in yourself enough to ask them to change? To ask them to care about others too? Remember, if you try to help someone get better, but they don't want to, they won't change. But if you're trying to do better, and people around you are negative, they might hold you back. The best thing might be to stay away from such people. 
4. Folks who never admit their mistakes. These people don't like to say they were wrong, which shows they don't really look at themselves or act humbly. These qualities are seen as very important for personal growth by thinkers like the Stoics. This type of person always says, it's never their fault. They might tell you that you were just unlucky. Instead of blaming others, it's so important for them to admit when they mess up and learn from it. These folks don't think before they act, and they don't realize how their actions can affect others. If things don't go right, they'll point fingers at something or someone else, never at themselves. They think their choices don't impact others, or worse, they just don't care about the consequences. The truth is, it's hard to help them because they don't want to admit their mistakes. If something bad happens because of their decisions, they always think it's not their fault. You'll often hear them say, I didn't do it. If you think you can help these folks become better by teaching them humility, you might be wasting your time. When things go wrong for them, they always find someone or something else to blame. Failed an exam, it's the teacher's fault. Car accident, they blame the weather. Dirty home, it's because of their job. Can you really help someone who won't say they messed up? We think it's best to step back. If you keep trying to show them a better way and they resist, it's not worth your effort. They often just complain and might try to pull others down with them. It's better to distance yourself while you can. 5. People who don't plan ahead. Imagine seeing someone you care about not using their gifts and you can't change that. It's tough when you try to remind them that life's moments are flying by and they don't seem to care. You believe they can achieve much more than they think. Yes, enjoying today is key to being happy, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't have goals for tomorrow. What we do today helps shape our future. We feel truly happy when we use our natural and learned skills to make our lives better. Some people can see only what's right in front of them. It's not that they lack skills, it's that they don't think about how to use them for the future. They are talented in many areas. The best way to help them isn't teaching new skills, but encouraging them to apply what they know. Many times, they just need to take action. They're aware of their potential and what they can achieve. But, if they rely on always having help and don't act for themselves, it's hard for you to inspire growth in them. Staying this way keeps them from moving forward. Ancient thinkers believed that working towards a better life is good. If not, negative feelings can take over. Anxiety, which affects many today, is one of those feelings. For those interested in achieving supreme happiness and success, like ancient thinkers did, write in the comments, I want the free ebook. 6. Those stuck on life's negatives. Some people always seem to see the glass as half empty, which is different from the ancient thinkers who valued calmness and facing tough times with strength and thankfulness. It's important to notice both the ups and downs of life to stay mentally well balanced. While everyone has bad days and feelings of anger or sadness, it's another thing to only concentrate on the negatives and ignore life's good parts. Doing this just brings more gloom into your life and stops you from seeing the world's beauty. There are individuals who seem expert at focusing on the downsides and you'll eventually notice that helping them becomes a losing battle. When they share their troubles, it's a natural reaction to want to assist. But they seem to have a fresh issue for every answer you provide. Their constant negativity can start to affect your own mood it's like watching the TV news, where most stories are about bad things happening. After offering many solutions, you begin to think maybe they don't want help. They just enjoy complaining and getting attention. They might even be unhappy if all their problems vanished suddenly, because they kind of enjoy having that messy mix of troubles to talk about. Some people seem to always be talking about their issues, as if that's all their life is about. They always mention not having enough money, problems with their kids, issues with their partner, or frustration at work. 
Do you believe you can really make a difference for someone who has complaints about every aspect of their life? And do they genuinely want assistance? It might be best to not even try. If you want to stay positive and energized, maybe it's better to let them find their own path. Hopefully, as time goes on, they'll learn to be less negative. Instead, use your energy on folks who genuinely value your advice and want to improve. If you don't, you might end up being just as negative as the one you were trying to help before you even know it. 7. Individuals who think it's never their fault. They point fingers at everyone else and never self-reflect. This goes against the idea that we should only focus on how we react to situations, not the situations themselves. If we don't take charge of our own reactions, our feelings can take over, leaving us confused. How can you help someone who thinks all their problems are because of others and doesn't see their own mistakes? If they can't see where they might be going wrong, they won't ever try to be better because they believe they're already the best. There are people who always point fingers, either because they don't see their mistakes or they just choose not to. They think if they lack friends, others are to blame. If they aren't healthy, they say good food is pricey. If they miss out on jobs, they believe the interviewer had it out for them. The best help you can give is to let life's experiences teach them. Eventually, they might see the real issues. 8. Individuals expecting the world to favor them. Some folks feel like the world should give them everything they want. They think they're amazing just for being alive. Stoic teachings tell us to live in balance with the world and others. They believe respect and rewards should be earned. Some kind-hearted people want to help these individuals see reality differently. Yet, many times, these people don't see this guidance as kind. They might even feel threatened. Some think, because they look good, people should do things for them. This attitude makes it tough for those trying to help, as they often get taken advantage of. Certain people believe they deserve extra attention. When things don't go their way, even with those who've helped them, they act hurt and might manipulate the situation. They'll probably only understand they need to change when they face the same behavior they've been showing. 9. People who don't want to learn or change. Stoicism teaches us to know ourselves better and always try to improve. However, some people don't want to look at their faults or grow. They stay the same, often blaming others for their problems. Trying to help them can be hard because they don't listen or accept advice. For example, Joe never admits when he's wrong. Even if he makes a clear mistake, he always finds someone else to blame. Sarah gets feedback at work about how to do better, but she ignores it, thinking her way is always the best. Mike faces repeated relationship issues, but always says it's because he just hasn't met the right person, rather than considering his own behavior. Linda often struggles with her finances, but instead of trying to budget or save, she blames her job for not paying her enough. Sometimes, it's best to let them figure things out on their own. You don't have to always guide them step by step. Stoicism reminds us being one with nature, forging strong relationships, and being accountable. By living these teachings, we can aim for a meaningful life aligned with the universe. For this, having a strong mindset is essential, just like the Stoics did. Want to know how? Check out the video on the screen. Until next time.